when Hannah Rose asked me to speak tonight, I was <laughs> at first also said, I'm sorry, I have a baby and it's not going to work. But then it was a really special occasion that, as I mentioned earlier, it was my mother-in-law's 70th birthday and I thought, I'm in Stanford, it's Hashgach Pratis, such divine design that I'm here. I'm so involved and love and have a passion for chinuch, for education. How can I refuse this? Maybe the Rebbe wants me to be here for this evening. So, an interesting surprise we have for my mother-in-law, Mrs. Vivi Darren. don't be shocked. Um, we have a little presentation for you, and the reason is because my mother-in-law, it's not because of she would not like us to do this if she was just for her birthday, but because, Schwiger, you're the one who, like all the women in this room, are involved in Chinuch and have given your passion and your love to Chinuch, that this presentation represents every one of you. And the woman who is going to give it is the student of um, my mother-in-law, and I'm going to call up a good friend, and um, Mrs. Toby Schaefer, who's the president of Aguda Shalom here in Stanford, and who owns her own law practice. And she is the proud mother of three and the grandmother of eight. Her children were involved with the Darrens in Chinuch, and she is a student till today, and she's going to have a, give a few words as a student, which represents all our students um, on so thank you, Toby, for being here and for giving a few words. Thank you. Vivi, I'm not sure who's more surprised, me or you. Rebeim esteemed group, it is with tremendous humility that I stand before you today. I am not a teacher. I am not qualified to impart knowledge to a remarkable group such as you, the finest assemblage of ed educators as could be found anywhere. But when asked to speak today about one of the most extraordinary women I have ever known, who has had a profound and continuing influence for almost 35 years on my family and on me, there was no way I could refuse. And that woman, of course, is Rebitson Vivi Darren. Vivi and Rabbi Yisrael Darren came to Stanford, Connecticut. I think it was in 1986. I'm not good with dates. Vivi set about speaking to members of the community and quickly learned that what we needed here was a gan, a place where our youngest could begin their life of learning in a warm, loving Torah environment. And in no time at all, Vivi created Gan Yeladim, which immediately became the preschool of choice in this community. What we discovered from the start was that Vivi had exceptional skills as an educator and an administrator, implementing the highest standards of curriculum together with a love for Torah, Midos, and the joy of being in a happy environment. The Gan was my family's first contact with Vivi. My daughters were by then in elementary school, but my son Daniel, then two and a half years old, was enrolled for three days a week in the Gan. That only lasted for a short while, however, because he loved going there so much that he begged to go every day. Clearly, there was magic happening at the Gan. Through our Gan connection, my entire family became supporters of the Darren's initiatives in the community, and most importantly, became privileged to be invited to the Darren home for many a Shabbat meal. It was at Vivi's table that I and my entire family came to see how unique a woman Vivi is. Of course she was a wonderful cook and hostess, and of course she was raising a beautiful family who we came to know and love over the years. But it was in this setting that we were fully exposed to the brilliance of Vivi's mind. Her knowledge and ability to answer questions and engage in high-level debate at her Shabbos table made an indelible impression upon us all. I, for one, have never known a woman who knew as much Torah as Vivi. She was simply awesome. Going forward, my eldest daughter, Pamela, was approaching bat mitzvah age, and without hesitation, she asked if Mrs. Darren could be her bat mitzvah teacher. 
Of course, Vivi agreed, and their collaboration, Learning Megillah at Esther, was a successful and beautiful experience for my daughter. When my daughter Katie became engaged, she asked that Vivi be her college teacher. And Daniel, who was now a teenager, became involved in yet another innovation that Vivi brought to Stanford, the friendship circle. His experiences as a friend to a special needs child laid the foundation and encouraged him to become a counselor at Cam Hask, where he was so blessed to find his wonderful Bashir. Thank you, Vivi. <laughs> at some point in time, maybe 25 years ago, Vivi suggested that she and I also learn together when time permitted. I recall thinking that there was no way that this could work. Although I was raised in an observant home in Connecticut, my Torah education consisted of the local Talmud Torah and a patchwork of classes at college and various Upper West Side shuls. Vivi was not daunted and launched us into learning of sources way beyond my ability. But Vivi made them comprehensible, and she made me feel that my questions were good ones, worthy of a thoughtful answer. With me as with the children, Vivi taught by the mandate of Hanok Lina'ar al Ho, and as a result, she made me want to learn more and more. The ties between the Darren and Schaefer families not only moved forward, but stretched back. My parents, the Kronan Levercha, fell in love with Vivi and Rabbi Darren and became supporters and advocates as well. My father was an Auschwitz survivor. My mother lost so much of her family to the Shoah, and they were so thrilled and so grateful to the Darrens for being part of their children's lives. Time went on, and as they say, life got in the way. There were years that Vivi and I could not find time to study together. But a few years ago, Vivi and I rekindled our learning. For the past three years, we have met almost every week. We have learned a variety of things, including Sefer HaChinuch. And this year, we began the Likutei Sichos of the Rebbe's analysis of Rashi. I can tell you that everything that was true about Vivi before is doubly so now. The sharpness of her mind and her ability to communicate difficult concepts is greater than ever, as is her patience, because I must admit that I can be a difficult student at times. My questions are sometimes posed as challenges. Vivi always demonstrates incredible tolerance, not casting off my questions as unworthy, but finding answers. And as much as she has taught me material, she has even more importantly taught me how to be a student. She has taught me to open my mind, to consider sources I did not think could speak to me, to give a chance to ideas outside of my limited box, and as my children can confirm because I'm always telling them, learning with Vivi is the highlight of my week. There are so many ways to teach. Vivi has been a role model for my entire family and for our entire community just by being Vivi. Her beauty and modesty, her pleasant manner to all, her determination to keep commitments, the love and support that she gives to Rabbi Darren and to her entire family are all lessons Vivi gives us every day. She has taught, she has taught us all how to hold on to Amuna in the face of the worst tragedies that one could confront. The strength that she can muster in the worst of times is an inspiration. And at the same time, Vivi never belittles what someone else is going through. She can set aside her own and immerse herself in the experience of the other with full heart and succor. How truly extraordinary. Finally, and I must admit with no small degree of pride, I feel that Vivi is not only my teacher, but my friend. I believe that we have evolved from Chavrusa to Chavirot. We are told in Pirkei Avot to acquire for ourselves a teacher and a friend. In Vivi, I have both. Vivi, this exceptional organization has chosen to honor you with the Award for Lifetime Achievement in Chinook al Taharasa Kodesh. <laughs> There could be no more fitting recipient. You are the rare educator who inspires people of every age at every stage of life. May we all be privileged to learn from you and with you. Admea the Esrim, Mazel Tov.
VV, I think you need to come up here. <laughs> As I said, this represents each one of you in Chinuch as a teacher and a student. I'm just going to read from, I, I don't know, we call this a plaque or statue, it's beautiful. A tribute of gratitude to a beloved teacher, role model, and friend, Mora Vivi Darren, celebrating a lifetime achievement of Chinuch al Taharas HaKodesh, a pure and sacred education. Through modeling and teaching the values of trust in Hashem, imbued with a love for Hashem, for Torah, and for Am Yisrael, in your lifelong service as a shlucha of the Rebbe, you have inspired three generations of students to follow in your footsteps. May you be blessed with continued good health, success in your shlichos, and abundance of nachas from your children and students, from your friends, admirers, and students around the world, 13th of Av, 5781, 21st of July, 2021, Kinus Hamachanchanos Conference Chabad Educators, Stanford, Connecticut. <laughs> Mazel Tov. We're going to let that sink. I know um, my mother in law, I totally agree. And thank you, Toby. That was beyond special. And more at the Fabrengen with a special woman. So hang out there for the Fabrengen. <laughs> and we have a birthday cake. Thank you, Menachem. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Schwiger. Happy birthday to you. No, you don't have to. You can say it at the front ring. At the front ring. Okay, it's up to you if you can say it. Okay. I am not often speechless. Um, this goes beyond that. If I can just share, if... that my constant tefillah in my life is that we should be zeicher, my husband, Yisrael Akeim ben Kenya, and myself, our children and their families, to be gizunda chayalim ba'armi da'admar, that the Rebbe should have nachas from us. I wish that for all of us together, the schus to be able to be in the Rebbe's army, which is a schus that belongs to everyone who accepts that schus. That the Rebbe should have nachas from the things that we do. There can be no greater bracha, just gesundheit and freilichheit. Thank you so much. Emotional, beautiful evening. Thank you. It's all a mesh. Shlechas, family, etc. Thank you, Toby. Thank you, MEF, for that kindness. And now we're going to have a musical interlude and dessert, and uh, then we'll have benching, and we'll end off with the Fabringen. Um, and as Rabbi Glukowski said, Bischus Nashim Sidkanius. It should be this beautiful group of women amongst all the Nashim Sikonius that take the baton of our feminine Malchostika energy straight from the Rebbe and the Rebbetzin and bring with Echad Echad, each student at a time, our world to a place of true Menucha Shlema Sha'ata Reitzeba. 
Thank you, Abishter. Thank you, Reva. Thank you, Revitson. Thank you, MEF.